Alrighty, let's check this out. Boom. Alright, so with the Dino Smash, my Im my immediate thought was that it felt sl uh, slightly I don't say swimmy. It's almost too nice. Like where your your arcs going through, coming over. It's just very arky. And it's almost like you want boom, you want this, but once you're through here, the resistance of all this is gone, so this would snap up faster the head and then you could hold without so much drag it's like it's like his head is out of control so you would have less drag over this way and then as that foot boom comes down you want a faster drop in here take this piece out because we're missing all of your awesomeness here take that piece out there so that you have again to go back here on that step boom you have a bigger impact that is you see a tremor in the knee a bit in the chest hands head comes down a bit more and then on this step you could bring up that root a bit more it's not too bad but you can give it like a make a bigger deal out of that step and then again less less of a swing like the head would be already up here for a, a line like that and then on that step the head can come back down a bit and then instead of doing that swing again like you will be up tail on whatever tail would be but you will be up into something bit more aggressive like the, you know the neck would be up and it's ah, sort of ready to keep going uh so you end up on the head going ah, getting ready for something instead of just being slow that slow raise here where nothing else is moving arms are kind of locked through there um so you want to break up those hands a bit and give this a bit more urgency right here a bit more out of control because it's trying to break through but once you're back here, it's back to, I'm going to fuck shit up. I'm ready. I'm ready. Versus, oh, I don't know what to do. And it's just going, you know, it's almost too beautiful of an arc and animation wise. Um, please know that the house is destroying simulation might not be. That's totally fine. Uh, okay, faster and slower. Let me see. Totally fine. It tells a story. I would just say take this one out or just you know keyframe it it goes down here or somewhere here because you don't want to hide your animation because that would be a bummer then uh polishing pass on the whole sequence although i'm still not sure about the last shot if the bottom mechanics are right on the settle on the last shot i've also made him more of balance all right uh push off so it looks like he's less in control start a new quick shot of dino smashing all right it's awesome if you do this awesome sauce like you have here because it's awesome you're gonna have. Pew, pew, pew. Wait, where's my tool? There it is. Cool though. I love the colors. It's just, it just makes them stand out, which is great. This is a bit funky here. Like you're already, your foot's already rotated up on that. It feels like by now your foot will be down. You might have to bring up that root higher and the leg higher. It just feels like you want your foot down a bit, just a bit. So that when he pushes weight on, we get to this pose. So there's a squish. There's a the the ball of the foot. Here it just feels like you're snapping, and then it's locked. It's a tricky thing. Once you have a render, you start to see all those dead locked pixels, like through here. As you move, this feels kind of locked. stuff though this feels almost like you want to be a slightly faster it's a bit even it's almost like you want to swing and watch out it feels a bit straight pathwise a bit ik you want to go into a more of an arc and just an ever so slight one or two frame tweak through here was really trying to get this up faster you have it there just a tiny but then you don't want to lock right you go from here to here and then it's kind of locked Maybe a little bit of a slide, and then as he pushes, slide back there. It should be really cool. It's like flying around. Like here. Super cool. Oh, so. Let's track. Down. 
yeah, it's hard. It's for some reason maybe it's because of the lighting, but we not I'm not quite reading that impact. It's like you want to give this uh, side a brighter color and cheat the sun around so that you have a super hard cast shadow, the blackness of it, so that we can really read the contact. It almost feels like if he's hitting this and he's really scraping through that, that you would rotate the chest and why this way like it's 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 dragging on this side so it would pull this side back which means it would rotate him around maybe that might be a better read with this render oh but the end is much better that's much better yeah there's still energy the only thing i would say that strikes me is this Animated overlap, drag overlap, that wrist right there turns into animation and not character. It's too draggy, draggy. And then here you're suddenly uh, very parented. It feels like that and that is attached to the chest and everything goes up and everything moves at the same time. And you even have like this leg. It's like all of this is moving as one. But that's it. Super cool render. I love it. All right, there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.